cold or common cold usually happens because of viral infection and about more than 200 viruses are responsible for this type of cold and that's why usually antibiotics will not work in this case and that's why there is actually no cure for cold what we can do is symptomatic relief so the symptoms of cold are first sore throat then chest congestion and cough and also it can also include headache fever so the, for symptomatic relief of sore throat usually we can use warm water with salt and gargle so it's like gargle and also we can use some cough drops Cubs, cup drops are actually like lozenges which contain menthol and for chest congestion we can use a cool mist humidifier and also we can use some steam along with some menthol or some people use vitamin C and zinc preparations although there is not much evidence that they can help to relieve chest congestion and for the drug treatment we can use expectorants I will come to that later and then for coughing coughing could be either dry coughing or productive coughing it means a lot of mucus for dry coughing the drugs we use are mostly they are called antitussive and for the productive coughs sorry productive for productive cough we usually use expectorants and for the symptomatic relief of headache and fever we can use acetaminophen or Tylenol which is also known as paracetamol outside the USA and also we can use uh, some ibuprofen so now let's uh, talk a little bit more about the two classes of drug i just mentioned like first one was antitussive so basically the mechanism of action of antitussives are these are opioid products they target the mu opioid receptors in the brain and they decrease the cuff center's sensitivity and on the other hand the another drug we mentioned was expectorant which are good for productive cuff if and these drugs basically they stimulate the secretion of watery less viscous mucus in the lower respiratory tract so among the antitussive the common drugs are codeine and 
also hydrocodone hydromorphone and another drug is dextromethorphan Among expectorants, uh, the most common drug is guaifenesin. And the codeine is actually a prescription drug, but dextromethorphan can be obtained over the counter, so it's available to purchase over the counter. Guaifenesin is also over the counter, so dextromethorphan is usually marketed as uh, delsim and guaifenesin is usually marketed as mucinex and this one is a delsim or dequil So the, there are several side effects associated with antitussive medications. The common side effects, since these are opioid products, that's why their most common side effect would be sedation. and also they can cause constipation due to their opioid mechanism and codeine type of antitussives they have a boxed warning so they have a boxed warning so the warning is they should not be used in children who has undergone recently tonsillectomy or to removal of tonsil and also these antitussives should be avoided uh, with recent use of any mau inhibitors monoamine oxidase inhibitors and also they have drug interactions with other CNS depressant drugs like alcohol and antihistamines because they also uh, antitussives may also have some sedative effects and in case of expectorants there is uh, no major side effects and that's all if you like the lecture videos to come, just subscribe to this channel.